Okay, example three, graph negative x is greater than or equal to three, or negative x is less than negative one. So this time it has the word or in between. Now this is one you actually can trip your parents up with. They might actually agree to this one. Um, and hopefully they don't watch this video or else you're out of luck. But you can tell them this. Let's say you make a bad grade on a test. Not that it happens to any of you guys, but let's say you make a bad grade on a test. And your parents say, how did you do on your test? And you can say, I aced my test or the sky is blue. <laughs> and, and then you're telling the truth because the sky is blue. You don't have to take the, both parts don't have to be true to make an or statement true. As long as one of them is true, it's, it's a true That's statement. True. Wow. And if they don't pay attention to the word or, if they just, if they, if they imagine the word and in there, like, well, you aced your test and the sky is blue. It's a great, beautiful day and, and you, the grades are good. And then, of course, they'll get to the progress report and know that you didn't do well on it and they'll call you a liar. But then you can say, well, if you read back the transcript, you'll see I said or. And, and I only had to be truthful on one part. That's what Mr. Klein said. And then I'll get a phone call. Why are you telling my kid to lie to me? So don't lie to your parents. All right. There's proof on the tape I said don't lie to your parents. All right. Negative x greater than or equal to 3 is x is less than or equal to negative 3. Again, if you change the signs, which we need to because we want x, we don't want negative x. If you change the signs of both objects, the inequality flips direction, the equals 2 stays on it though. Negative x is less than negative 1. That's x and positive 1. And again, we change the sign so the inequality switches direction. And that fancy word in between, or, is still in between. All right. Or simply means both inequalities are alive and well. They both matter just as much as each other. If the blue one's true, it doesn't matter if the red one's true. The whole thing's true. If the red one's true, it doesn't matter if the blue one's true. The whole thing's true. That's how it works. So x is less than or equal to negative 3 domain set of real numbers is open or closed circle it's closed because it equals 2 right less than goes to the left so I graph that inequality on the number line x greater than 1 still real numbers open circle 1 because it's not equal to greater than goes to the right that is the graph of that answer Okay, both inequalities graphed on the same number line. They both count. That's the answer. Of course, on your paper, it'll all be the same color. So on your paper, it'll look like this. Okay. The one's not any more important than the other. All right? Both inequalities get graphed, whatever they look like. If they happen to go in the same direction, suppose this one went this way, like that, right? And that happens. All right? This open circle gets filled in by the shading. So if there was an open circle there, the shading would fill it in. Because even though this isn't true, the other one would have been true. So that is a possibility. That happens occasionally. So, and I see so many people just think that it's really important to have that open circle there. So they make it really big, big giant open circle right there. But yeah, if, if an open circle gets overtaken by a, by a shading, the shading wins. So, uh, the open circle gets filled in. That can happen. Usually when they give you these disjuncts, they have you go in different directions, usually. But again, if you happen to go the same direction, the one that's more, that's the one that counts more.